Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're playing with one of my favorite makeup brands, which is Danessa Myricks. And I don't know, I just, I've been in a rut recently with makeup and just filming and I just feel like every video I do, it's just boring. I don't know. I, I hope that y'all don't feel that way, but I feel like I'd just been kind of stuck. So I figured I would pull out some of my favorite products from Danessa Myricks. Her products always inspire me. They always just light that fire under me and make me wanna play with makeup again. So I'm gonna show you just some of my favorite products from her. It's not gonna be a full face of Danessa Myricks, but basically it is. I just felt like today I just needed to kind of like play with some of my makeup favorites and kind of get outside myself for a little bit and do something a little different to kind of re-inspire myself if that makes sense so this is the longest intro ever so let's go and get into it make sure you grab a drink grab a snack if you've got some color fix at home whether you have one shade or ten shades grab them you can do your makeup with me if you don't have anything from Danessa Myricks you don't you can still do your do your makeup with me and get ready with me no worries if not just sit back relax grab a glass of wine and enjoy the next 20 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and get into it. I always get so excited when I'm gonna be using a lot of Danessa Myricks products because they seriously just make me feel so creative and they make me giddy about makeup, which I feel like recently I've kind of been in a rut. Um, I don't know, I just, I really haven't had time to like play with makeup and I feel like I've gotten into a routine where I just, I'm not playing with makeup like I used to and so when I pull out all her products it just like lights that fire um, and makes me really excited to play with makeup again. So we're going to go and start with her foundation. This is her Vision Cream Cover. You can use this as a foundation, as a concealer. It's very, very full coverage, so I love mixing it with other things. You can mix it in with moisturizer, oil. She's got a bunch of products that uh, you can mix with it that she makes. I'm actually going to mix it in with my new Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint. This is very, very uh, light coverage. If you didn't see my last video, I talked about this. I love this. This is so good. But I am wanting more coverage today. So I'm going to take half a pump on the cap. Like, that is all I need, half a pump. Even when I use it by itself, I just need like the tiniest bit. And then I'm gonna take equal parts. So I'm gonna do half a pump of the Makeup Revolution. I've actually never tried these two together, so we'll, we'll see. But I'm just gonna mix those on my little lid right here. And I have done several videos about Danessa Myricks, so I will link all of them below. But if you really want to get more information on a specific product or something, definitely check the description box. Um, this is just going to be me today just playing with her products. I'm not really going to talk too much about them. But I've, like I have said, I've done so many videos on her products just because I'm low-key obsessed. But it's not so low-key. It's pretty obvious. And I buy all of her products from Beautylish. I love their shipping, I love their customer service. I've just always had such a pleasant experience with Beautylish. I used to buy all my Good Molecules stuff from Beautylish. Sometimes I, I do because Ulta doesn't carry everything, but Beautylish is one of my favorite websites and they have a bunch of really cool brands on there. So um, yeah, I will link to all of her products through Beautylish down below, but you know she's in so many different retailers and just depending on where you are in the world, you will need to use you know a certain retailer, but. I love Beautylish, not sponsored or anything. All right, so another really great thing about this foundation is you can use it as concealer because it's so full coverage. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I used all of the product that was on the cap, so I'm gonna take a tiny bit more. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm actually gonna use a brush for this. I'm gonna use this Morphe M173 brush. It's kind of dense, just a little bit up off the cap and then just apply it to where I need a little more coverage and you can use this product for your whole entire base it's so nice and I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge just blend it out but 
I need to pick this foundation up in a deeper shade to mix in when I'm a little more tan and also to use as like a cream bronzer. I think that would be really pretty. All right, one of my staples in my collection is her Balm Contour. It is excellent. It's excellent. All I can say is you just gotta try it. It's so good. So I'm gonna take it on this MOTD Get Cheeky With It brush. I use this in the shade, how do I not know my shade? Light too. Just kind of tap off the excess, really prime the brush. All right, and then I'm gonna take it on this BK Beauty 205 brush. It's my favorite for doing the nose. And I'm just gonna take a little bit just down the sides. Just to give it some definition. I always say this, but just in case you're new, I'm not trying to change the shape of my nose. I actually really like my nose. God gave me this nose and I quite enjoy it. <laughs> so I just like to add a little bit to the sides just so it doesn't look flat on my face, especially with using such a full coverage foundation. You know, you want your features to look three dimensional. So I just like to take a little bit down the sides. And then I also love taking this contour around just my bottom lip not my top lip I feel like sometimes when I put on my top lip and this goes with any contour product it looks like a mustache I have not mastered the top lip contour but I love doing it on my bottom just makes it look a little bit more pouty so this is another beautiful product it's a little bit bulky and it's actually quite heavy um, it's really nice packaging it is a little bit on the heavy side powder highlighters are gorgeous I've actually never tried her vision flush formula so whenever I make another order um, I'm definitely gonna pick up some of her vision flushes um, she's got some really pretty highlighters and blushes but so far I've only tried her illuminating veil which I'm not a huge fan of it's very 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 glittery it's great for photos and video but it is just very glittery in real life so I don't use that very much and then I also have her duet balm um, in the morning dew shade I believe that is also quite glittery I really wanted the clear one but they were out of it so I have morning dew it's a little glittery these on the other hand are the glossiest powder highlighters you will probably ever try they are so beautiful so even if you don't like a powder highlighter I definitely reach for cream highlighters over powders but I love this formula it's so creamy and smooth and buttery and beautiful and yeah these are fantastic so I'm going to take my little trio here, Common Sense, Easy Breezy, and Smooth Sailing. I love the names of these, especially Common Sense. Um, I'm just going to mix those three together. And then I love applying these highlighters on top of slightly wet skin. Like before I powder my face, I like to apply these highlighters because I feel like they look the most glossy this way they kind of like melt into my foundation and just give a really pretty shine to the skin but do you see that like it does not look like a powder at all it's so beautiful so pretty and then I'm just gonna take my damp sponge that I used with my foundation and concealer and just pat over that just to really press it into the skin but this almost kind of turns it into a cream highlighter um, I just love using this formula like this. You can, of course, go on top of powders and apply this, and it looks beautiful, but this is just my favorite way. All right, so now we're going to set the face, and I'm going to use her Evolution Powder. This actually I had to get downstairs for my vanity because I've been using this so much lately because it's been so hot. So I've been going back and forth between this one and my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Pressed Powder. Um, this one is like when I'm going to be gone all day long and I'm doing a little bit more of like a glam makeup look, which is typically on Sundays or if uh, Chris and I are having a date night um, and we're going to be outside. I like to go for this one. It's a little bit more hard hitting um, and it's just, oh, it's beautiful. So I use this in the shade two. Pat out any creasing and then just press this in the under eye. And I'm using a Sigma Beauty Bird brush. This is the Dream Conceal brush. So I'm just using the smaller brush 
for my t-zone so i can really press the powder into the skin and then for the rest of the face i'm going to take the bk beauty 105 this brush is gigantic but it's actually really nice and i'm just going to press this powder right on top of the rest of my face just a little bit a little bit of this powder goes a long way all right so i know i already did cream bronzer but or cream contour, cream bronzer, but I do want to go over my face with a powder bronzer. So I'm just going to take my Honest Beauty Luminizing Glow Powder in Dusk Reflection. I think they still make this. I know they kind of went through a little bit of a rebrand and um, changed up all their packaging, but I think they still have the same products, just different packaging. So anyway, I'm just going to take a large brush. This is a Sigma Beauty Bird brush. It's the Dream Bronze brush. And I'm just gonna go right over top where I applied that cream bronzer. All right, I'm gonna wait and do my blush after I do the eyes because I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes yet. And I want to kind of pick my blush according to what's on my eyes. So for the eyes, we're definitely gonna be working with Color Fix. Absolutely. I love Color Fix. And I've actually been getting um, a few questions about how to layer Color Fix. I have done two looks two videos on my channel dedicated to like how I layer her her color fix and create like dimensional eye looks just like you would with a powder eyeshadow but using the creams so I will link those below I have been getting a lot of questions about how to do that though so definitely check out those videos but today I'll also do kind of a multi color fix look um, in case you've been wondering all right so with color fix I would highly recommend finding some kind of palette. It can be a mirror. It can be just some kind of packaging. I'm actually going to use my balm contour today. Um, she sells palettes and I have a ring palette of hers, but I'm going to just use this because I have it right here. So I pulled a few of my favorite shades. I think today I'm going to go more neutral. I do have some colorful shades from her, but I think I'm going to do more of a, I don't know, kind of just a neutral... I don't want to recreate a look I've already done, so I'm, I'm, tr I'm going to try not to do a look that I've already done with her color fix, but I'm kind of sticking with these more earthy tones. Uh, this is All of You. This is Nude 7. This is Chocolate. Um, Element. Oh, no, not Element. Exposed is another great shade. This is one of my favorite shades. Um, I also have Nude 4. She has an entire range dedicated to just a bunch of kind of nude shades, so they're more like skin tone shades you can use them as lipsticks you can use them you know on the face as whatever you want um so that's really awesome and you can kind of mix the shades together and create your own custom shades i also have uh blackout and lift yeah lift which is her just matte black and matte white these are a must if you're going to get color fix um i would definitely recommend picking a shade but then also get blackout and lift because these will deepen any shade and lighten any shade so this really makes your color fix go a lot further and you don't have to buy more shades you can just use these to kind of custom create your own shades and on a side note I am not a an expert at Danessa Myrick's products I'm not an angel or anything I just I kind of know like what works just because I use these products so much um, so this is just all based on my experience you know definitely take it with a grain of salt do what's best for you and do what you're the most comfortable with. If something I say does not work for you, then don't do it. Um, this is just what works best for me and from my own experience with using these for quite a while. Let's do all of you. This is a really pretty olive -y shade, um, like a muted olive green. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, so it kind of looks like poop, but it's actually a really pretty color. And we're gonna throw this all over the lid. So. I'm gonna take this on a Real Techniques domed shadow brush. Great, great brush. And I'm just picking it directly, picking it up off of my makeshift palette. I like this brush because it packs on the color, but then you can also kind of flip it and use it to blend through the crease. And then I'm just gonna take a clean brush. This is a Real Techniques Ooh, what is this? Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just gonna run that 
along the edge just to make sure it's nice and diffused. You do have play time with these, but you know, don't like, don't take too much time uh, because these will dry down and once they set, they're hard to move. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that deluxe crease brush, yeah, which is clean and just blend it out. All right, so honestly, this on its own is absolutely gorgeous. I love this color and I definitely need to use it more often. Um, so pretty. I did want to mention one thing. If you are noticing somewhere, some areas where you want to add more color, it's looking a little patchy or you just need to tweak it, like do it. Just go back in with a little bit more. I'll show you. Just go back in with a little bit more. And let's see, I'll apply a little bit here. And just add like you would a normal eyeshadow. And then I just kind of go back and forth between two brushes, one with the color, one that's kind of clean. Um, more so just for blending. And see, it layers beautifully. And just kind of treat it like a regular powder shadow. That's why these are so incredible. There's really nothing like these that I've ever tried. Because even some really great long-wearing cream shadows, you can't layer them like these. Um, once you start layering them, they just kind of pick up on each other. Or they get really dry and crusty. Whereas these stay, they set down and they're very matte, but they stay very workable. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's just such a beautiful formula. All right, I kind of want to use this shade, which is chocolate. This is a really cool color. It's almost purple. Um, I was kind of expecting it when I bought it. I was kind of expecting it to be more of like a warm brown, but it's actually really deep, dark, purpley brown. So hopefully you can see this swatch. Yeah, it almost has like a burgundy wine kind of undertone to it. It's definitely brown, but like you can kind of see that little hint of purple to it. It's a really cool color. So I think I'm going to use that today just right along my lash line, just kind of smudge it in and make it real smoky and kind of grungy. Ooh, okay. I'm going to try this BK Beauty 204 brush. It's kind of a uh, short, flatter, just real smudgy brush. I don't know how you describe it, but I think it'll be perfect for just kind of working this product into the lash line. So I'm just gonna pick that up. I'm gonna start with a little bit. So just really prime the bristles, really work it into the brush. And I'm just going to smudge this color right at the lash line. And the great thing about working with Color Fix is there's no fallout. You don't have to worry about that. Such a perfect formula for really smoky looks like this or just everyday natural looks. To take a BK Beauty 208, this really fine angled brush, and I'm gonna bring this out into a wing. And then just take my little smudger brush, just kind of soften that up. This is not a summer look, <laughs> but that's okay, it's almost fall. Oh my gosh, I was at my grocery store the other day and they had the pumpkins and all the Halloween stuff out. I was like, what is happening? Which I'm not mad at. This is like my favorite time of the year, fall and winter. If that could just be all year round, I would be very, very happy. So I was happy to see it. All right, so I'm gonna take that same chocolate shade and bring that to the just the outer corner of my lower lash line and then connect it up to my wing, so I've got this nice little connection right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara and then figure out what I wanna do because I'm looking at my eyes and I, I have no clue. This is a shade Iconic. This is a very glittery one. This is her metallic formula. Um, I'll show you what this looks like. It's so pretty. It's like a you know, really pretty, it's not silver. It's like a pewter, maybe? Is it pewter? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take this on my finger because I, I don't really want a lot of that color. I kind of just want the glitter. 
So I'm just gonna pick this up on my hand, really prime my, or my finger. Maybe we'll just kind of tap it all over the lid. Just see what happens. And that's the fun thing about color fix. You just kind of try new things, you experiment, and you mix colors together, and you just kind of create things that maybe you never envisioned or really thought of, but it kind of just takes you to some fun places. Um, I'm gonna go and apply mascara, and then when we come back, I'll reassess, see if I wanna add anything, probably do some liner in my waterline, and then we'll figure out something for the lip, which I think I wanna use, I'm either gonna use Color Fix or I've got a couple other things from her. Oh, and blush, we need to do blush. So we've got a few more things to do. I'm gonna do mascara, I'll be right back. All right, so I just applied my Lawless One and Done mascara, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of liner on the waterline. You can use Color Fix in the waterline. Um, I honestly just don't feel like doing that right now. Um, it is a little bit more work than just taking a pencil. So this is the Ara Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in Copper, and I'm just going to run this right in my waterline. It's a really pretty, wait, is this copper? Yeah, this is copper, but it's not really like a copper shade. It's more like a metallic magenta burgundy shade, which I think complements the liner. All right, and then for the lips, I'm gonna dip into this. This is the Lux Cream Palette in The Nudist. I actually have not used this very much. Um, I was really excited to get this because I just love the versatility of it. I think I've maybe used it twice. So we're gonna dip into this today. This is technically not a lip brush, but it'll work. Um, there's no shade names, but I'm taking this shade. It's kind of this warm nude brown. And with this formula, you kind of have to dig into the pans to get, to really kind of get into it. And once you do that, you're golden. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here, kind of lighter brownie nude. Just kind of pop that right in the center. All right, and then to shape out the lips a little bit, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Cafe Lip Pencil. All right, and one last step before we're done, I'm gonna go back into the highlighter palette and I'm gonna take the shade Common Sense and I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner corner. All right, and the, uh, the butterfly clip is gonna have to stay in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is such a fun look to create. Like I said, I just love playing with her products. It inspires me and they're just so much fun. And so if you just need to be re-inspired or you just need to try some makeup products that are just fun and creative and very personal to the person using them, this is such an amazing brand. I've raved about her products for so long and I love them. They're so good. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are